Thank you, everybody. Right, I'm going to turn off. Uh, I'm going to. Should I stop speaking to Fashbinder as well? I think I should. You should concentrate until until tonight. Yeah. Right. So goodbye, everybody. Thank you very much, everyone, and goodbye. And here's Fash. Oh boy, it's not me. Whoa. Hello, YouTube. My name is Jimmy Fantastic, and this is my last Champs Ladder semi-final against Poopock. I have a, a short no. What is he? He's dwarfs. He's got dwarfs against Chaos. And Chaos has enough uh, claw mighty blow to be absolutely scary. Uh, Jim, three fifty down with money in the bank. So yeah, wizard death roll not not really surprising. Death roll are a uh, a big roadblock, uh, potential foul threat for Pommers on uh, well, towards the end of the drive. Uh, what is it? It's Batman, isn't it? It's a uh, uh, Kerpom, Kerpom. That's it. Kerpom and uh, what are you going on? What are you going on, Batman? Yeah. Searching for Jimmy. Oh shit! Up already. Why are you, why are you going here? What are you doing? Uh... Loading. Oh yeah, this is the uh, semi-final match. Semi-final. Looks like uh, Chaos have uh, won the toss and chose to recede, presumably. Makes sense. That'll be uh, four Mighty Blow Claw hits this turn. Presumably one pylon. There is a uh, a Wrestle Beast that's niggled uh, with Tackle that could potentially foul with Dirty Player. Uh, also looks like Jim lost the fame roll. I think that's what the little man in the corner means. One that all selected to win. These yells got it. Now look, uh, on occasion I've played Blood Bowl, and uh, on, the, <laughs> on that rare occasion I've done blocks, and the blocks have been for pushes. And so while it's bad, it's not guaranteed. Uh, fielding the death roller in defense, so we could see uh, oh, we could see all all inducements gone this half if the uh, bolt well, and death roller when it goes off this half, unless the freebie is a bribe. And by the freebie, I mean a kickoff event. I I vaguely recall playing blood ball. Actually, Jim with uh, two pommers of his own, uh, number. Number five long bid, number six long bid behind the death roller, as well as a uh, Pom Slayer. So these beastmen, if they're targeted, could get banged on. Like, uh, yeah, wrestle Dirty Player Man, he's niggled. Backup Dirty Player. So um, we, I'll be surprised if the foul doesn't come. Well, maybe not, maybe not. I, I wouldn't foul on offense, but if he's playing to Kaz. I assume there'll be a foul from the chaos at some point. Very good, very good analysis right there. A guy will do a thing. Cool. Good, very good analysis. No real anti blitz setup needed from the chaos with uh, dwarves being slow and rubbish. Poopock picking up a reroll. Is that fame doing things? That is exactly fame doing things. Both of them rolled a one on the uh, fame roll and the plus one fame. Paying dividends. Only a stun. Only a stun is not dead. Happy times. With a uh, edgy four sure hands, I am not too concerned about the ball not uh, not being you know protected somewhat, and with dwarves being slow, I think that's tolerable. Mm. 
my fault for not Yikes. standing firm. Brilliant, eh? Jim's fault for not standing firm on the previous turn. <laughs> Down to 10 for the drive. Uh, so, as yeah, Jim commented, the stand firm guy chose not to stand firm. And I guess in the hope that he would push him away. It resulted in the LOS being chainable for follow up hits. But it's sort of hard to, hard to really say for sure. Um, with four rerolls on turn one, yeah, look, I, I think it would be wrong to greater roll that, but yeah, no, it would definitely be wrong. The FD commitment on the LOS means it'll be hard to protect. The guard beastman that hasn't moved at the back, you know, could come in and stand to the, uh, the Palmer's right hand side. Which will mean base contact from Jim if he wants to take that block on the Palmer. Wow, dodging out. Dirty dingo, ball on the ground. I guess it doesn't matter if that failed. This uh, guard man probably should have moved first. And then dodge out. The guard man then protects uh, the downed beastman that would have failed the dodge. I don't think you just re-roll it. If, if you're going to risk the dodge... Just re-roll the block. He's still taking a roll anyway, like, realistically. It's a bit odd. Alright, Jim early down one. Only one man tied up. And by tied up, I mean he's on the ground. The uh, number three blitzer. Strong chaos wall. No super juicy blitz without a, a price to pay. So if he wants to go for the, the Palmer in the middle, he'll get claw bombed in return. Guard Beastman on the right seems the most tempting. And that it's the two die for no real cost. Ha! <laughs> Classic. Classic. Oh, wow. I think we're wrong. I know, it was really just his one play per turn. Uh, we'll ask him about this after the match. I mean, it, it wasn't a uh, claw mighty blow on the double skull. He's now down to two. And with, uh, I guess, being a man down, he's probably feeling the pressure. Runner, but... runner was exposed. I didn't do safe moves first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> safe moves first, Jim. If only he had four minutes to decide if he wanted to re-roll that, didn't have to make that snap decision. That, that's that's probably one of the worst things with Blood Bowl too. I think that that you you get you have to make snap decisions instead of four minute ones. I mean, pretty bad, but. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna not say anything at all. I'm just gonna try and play. Try and win, Jim. Try and win. Uh, one more assist for the chaos for a three die. A wise move. Three nice blocks are good blocks. Also assists in protecting the pommel when he's on the ground. Three die block gets the pal. Second removal of the drive. One per turn. The dream for Chaos. This would be a telling Apo. Alright, it's not. If that was an Apo, it, this was going to be Jim's uh, hardcore go balls to the wall uh, drive. But with a conservative non Apo use, maybe he's just waiting for the opportunity. Not looking to force anything too crazy. Loving these cheeky dodges at the end. 
could be something worth thinking about. If, if, you're, if your opponent is willing to make those dodges at the end, especially on AV8 guys, on a 3 plus roll, but he's probably not re-rolling, could be worth considering uh, attempting to tie them up in that regard, which, you know, you'd do anyway. But I like it when someone's taking extra dice and he's not really in, in pressure. That, you know, that guard beastman being on the ground and being uh, standing, like, didn't really matter. Living on the ground uh, for a uh, level 3 beastman would tie up a level, well, would tie up a long bid, you know, off to one side in an irrelevant position with their full movement. Might have considered leaving it. Um, yeah, Jim's the dwarves. Classic. Uh, so, uh, Mighty Blow Pylon on uh, Niggled AV8. Doing nothing. Uh, the cheeky little chain he chose to keep base contact on the uh, dirty player because he trolls Slayer with Frenzy. Sort of forces an action. Um, unfortunately, he can't really protect it. But then the price paid is only the Dirty Player Beastman without block, making a free block on the Troll Slayer. And that's not really, uh, you know, too spooky for, you know, for the cost of, you know, the standard AV8 roll. Um, so likely it'll be the Blitz. And if he does do the Blitz on the Troll Slayer, holy smokes, what an agile little dwarf. All right, the Blitz on the Troll Slayer is now, uh, now off the table. And it's now looking like a, uh, a nice little trap. Although I guess... Uh, Claw Mighty Bird Beastman now hits the Blitzer and then moves to assist the Dirty Player Beastman, marking the Troll Slayer for the tr free Troll Slayer block. But then he sort of uh, forced himself down the corner, and unless he gets a Kaz on both those blocks, uh, could really be pinned into the sideline on turn three and look potentially forced to score. Uh, so I, I think this might be a bit of a trap if he goes down the sideline. I think repositioning in the middle might be the better play for turn three for the Chaos. He is up two men, though, as uh, Ducky points out. Up two men, you've got a towering advantage, especially when you're stronger and more agile and faster. <laughs> and bash better. Are you trying to say I'm the underdog? <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst possible matchup. Part of team positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Yikes, sideline it is. I really like the three dot box, though. So I think that's a, a wise decision. Wow. Three turns, three removals. You've got to be pleased. You don't lose a game. As chaos when you get a removal a turn. You don't lose a you don't lose a game as anyone when you get a removal a turn. I pose the blitzer back to the bench. Seems fair. Down three for the drive. Uh not quite giving up the surf yet. The uh Chaos Warrior can come in and assist. Wow! What is this? Absolute madman! Just red dies. Crazy. Uh, the dwarves are so slow that the ball carrier can just hang out, you know, behind the uh, Chaos Warriors. And the strength up Chaos Warrior could have come down to assist to give the dirty player the block. Uh, the ball would have been safe. Uh, unless the death roller, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, nah, still safe from the death roller on a break tackle. Death roller would have to do two break tackles. Uh, that red die, it was just insane. 
deserves to lose just for that. Uh, potential surf for Jim. Depends if he reads his piece of paper or not, saying never surf. Uh, runner's also in a good spot. So the uh, Death Roller could bang out the Chaos Warrior. The Runner could 2-plus uh, to 2-double uh, ball. Or he could bolt, clear the Chaos Warrior, pick up the ball with the Runner, and be a little bit potato. The scariest move of the turn is the uh, Death Roller. Dirty, dirty learner. Still has the Blitz in hand as well. So Runner for the ball. Uh, with the uh, Blitz to clear and then maybe tag the Warrior. No, he'd be a square too short. I like this. Wow, that was a quick decision from Jim. Less than a minute on a very decisive turn. Risking a dodge. Blitzer could even double GFI to attempt uh, some semblance of a screen. So Chaos Warrior tied up. Other Chaos Warrior tied up. It would be double GFIs. Or uh, with the Blitzer screening... I can't point to you guys because you can't see my mouse, but... There is a screen from Tackle. Maybe Jim saw that in the space of 20 seconds. Holy smokes, Batman. And I guess you can just 1D the uh, blockless beastman. Some GFIs though. Left to Shawnee tear it. Actually, no, he's uh not not quite protected. Unless the uh... oh man, is this gonna be a passing play? Oh boy! If it works, like it, it was just gonna be like a four plus three plus. That'll uh, that'll seal the drive if he makes it. Oh, got the one out of the way. Picks up the ball unsurprisingly. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Makes the four plus. Gets the three plus. <laughs> oh, fair enough. That was much better. Throwing to the blitz. Well, I mean, it, it's definitely riskier. Like, yeah, I'd never, I'd never want to do a four plus. But the runner where he is could make one extra GFI, and the blitzer could have made one GFI, and it would be like a semblance of an eye cage. And the blitzer did have guard, but I think the chaos warrior then could have made a GFI, and the tackle beastman could have got the blitz, and that would essentially almost guarantee uh, the balls on the ground. And that's used his wizard for not a touchdown. Whereas Jim's play, a little more risky, but he used his wizard and now has a touchdown. So yeah, what, you know, risk, risk reward, the, the standard blood ball trade-off. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. He can base the ball. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby. Glorious. Try and fucking play better, eh? Oh, hey, Scar. Yeah, look, with the free reroll on the dodge, the free reroll on the pickup, the, the real risk involving a team reroll was the uh, two GFIs and the four plus three plus. Oh, and look, even yeah. on an accurate, it was probably oh, not too bad. As long as it wasn't a fumble. Yeah, roll will be out at the end of the drive. And the end of the drive might come sooner as the... Uh, Chaos will certainly play down the field. But there's no recourse for this, other than base the ball. Actually, with number six long beard being guarded, it somewhat denies the block or the blitz on the Slayer, if you want to be part which would allow the... Uh, then, uh... Chaos Warrior to also get down there. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? I dig it. I dig that so much. Yikes on the runner there. Oh, 
more clench the butt with the apogon clench. Yeah, that's fair enough. I was gonna say, uh, number nine beastman probably could have made a GFI. Uh, the GFI would mean that he can reach the sideline without making the GFI. Jim's Blitzer can stay on the sideline, and yes, he can be pinned the subsequent turn. Um, uh, but you know, one deed away. One D for a portion of a touchdown isn't bad, but with the Chaos Warrior making the, uh, double GFI and the dodge, pretty good. You see, I was initially thinking the Blitz on the on the Death Roller clears the path so that Chaos Warrior can make that same play without a dodge, uh, and then not getting the the hit on the Runner. But I think the hit on the Runner was a really good call, given the circumstance. In that Jim only has, uh, you know, well he has he has a backup Runner, but you'd never really want to use the backup Runner. You'd want the Ace Runner. You're paying for it. And so yeah, look, I think that is probably worth it. And I guess the only risk then is Jim stalling for an extra turn. So one turn for a hit on the runner. Oh, hey, Thor. This is a spooky turn. A3 plus 3 plus... <laughs> A3 plus 2 plus 2 plus just, uh... Give me hard the stomach. Clench. Clench. Oh, look at that. Just no worries. No worries at all. Everyone's three plus is working. The chaos dodges. Just being exceptional. Three from three up, I'm pretty sure. And uh, Jim's agi play. On point. So loses the death roll. 150 uh, Gonski. Uh, but a touchdown in your opponent's drive. The bench is reset. So the uh, the three Kaz and K, well, the two Kaz and one KO. Uh, all back on the field, and now it's a 11v11 again, uh, with Jim 1-0 up. Save two die blocks, only give one blitz per turn, and stall. <laughs> This was the Chaos Drive, absolutely. Oh, you know what it was? On turn four, uh, Poopok did not get a Kaz. That was the downfall of the Chaos, uh, <laughs> the Chaos Offense. Did not get a Kaz every turn, only got a Kaz <laughs> three turns out of four. So if we use the uh, one turn that he didn't get a Kaz, and we count that as half a Kaz, <laughs> well, what aggregate win score is that? What, what aggregate Kaz score? 87 and a half? Oh, pushes! Unbelievable! Oh, 
No cats so far. Downgrades the KO to a stun for the purpose of not getting a mighty blow hit on his uh, beastman. Seems fair enough. Uh, wise choice to not stand them from Jim. Um, bit of a deceptive position from the ball carrying beastman. Uh, looks like, based on his position, like nine, nine times out of ten, you'll see uh, rookie call players just flood left, thinking that because the ball carrier is on the left, uh, that's the way he's going to go. And that could be the case. But I'm looking at this guard beastman on the right. Not anymore. All right. But I was looking at the guard beastman on the right. Because if you're paying attention, you'll see that the uh, ball carrying beastman can go seven squares uh, diagonally, which is you know, southeast if we're looking from Jim's perspective. And uh, on a single blitz on the uh, number three blitz on Jim's right, uh, has a pretty clean path to sneakily switch sides. At the real cost, had the guard man been a little more assertive. But uh, three stuns, pretty good. On a. Uh, on turn five, they don't do anything for turn six. They only stand up on turn six and move one square. Uh, so look, they're kind of like chaos when you really think about it. Oh, hey, Maddo, what's cracking? Yeah, this is tough. So you definitely just mirror uh, every every beastman and be you know as as relevant as you can. I'll just see runner dodge at the end, and then just screen like else screen it and say nice and tight. Don't give a square. No. It's not a jump up, Beastman. Fair enough. Is it, is it just me or that runner stay on the ground? Did he not risk it? I guess he didn't risk it. So uh, stand from the flanks makes it hard for the Chaos to say, well, let me just block for a push here. So the block for the push is somewhat off the table. So there's three stand firm on the right. We'll do a good enough job at stopping a right side push. And the uh, four men on the left around this down beastman. Not sure exactly what it's for. I guess the guard flanking means that there's not really going to be a block. And the two that will be impossible to cancel, well, not impossible, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. It'll be hard and costly to cancel the uh, two anti-assists, so the down beastman, the uh, pom beastman. Um, not, not super easy. Unless he commits, you know, pretty much his whole team, and then he's pushed into a flank, uh, much like he was in the first half. And hopefully Jim has enough men and enough movement to uh, rotate and cover them. That's it. Same words. Three dot block not rewarded. Greedin. Three turns, three rerolls. I guess that's fair enough. Not sure it strictly needs to be a success there. I don't, I don't really see what that was really achieving other than looking for the Kaz. Maybe a telling sign.
I think so, Billy. I think so. In finals, you're just playing for score. Dirty Dingo Foul not punished. On a punish? Uh, yeah, not only down men. It doesn't really matter at this point because he's got two in reserve and the drive's almost over. Uh, so, look, I think uh, I think the foul was a good idea, but it perhaps should have been punished. Uh, the risk would be the runner then gets free in the backfield, but that doesn't really matter either because the beast was just going to potato anyway. Not potato, but, you know, run down with his screen. So the back threat doesn't really matter. For Jim, lots of base contact. I guess people are just standing. The free block on the right-hand side will be taken. The uh, right-hand side, number eight, long bid. Lincoln doesn't really get anywhere useful. Maybe just run back midfield to sweep. And so I'm looking for the blitz. Hmm. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. Well, it appears to be safe enough. Chaining them back. Get away from the end zone. Or the end zone. Get back from the end zone and the end zone. First Kaz for Jim. Second block on the Niggles uh, Beastman. Takes a strength. He took it. That play will be fired if he wins this match. Keeping Niggles. Unbelievable, Jeff. Absolutely, Billy. 100%. 100% I'd trade a Death Roller and a Wizard for a touchdown, for sure. It also let him reset the drive. So when Chaos receives, they got a, they got a bunch of Kaz. They got a Kaz per turn, effectively. And uh, 300k to not only score, but to mitigate those effects. Amazing. Red die claw or 50 50 away. I think you're 50 50 away at the uh, as a final action. But then again, oh my god, balls of steel. <laughs> I was about to say before Jim pressed end turn like an absolute madman. Um, it does tie up one chaos player. And at this point, the chaos want to get downfield, protect the ball, and get into a scoring position. And if one man's tied up blocking, and the, I guess it'll be the Chaos Warrior that makes the block. And if, if you assume success, you've got two Beastmen, two Warriors, and the Ball Carrier are the only people around the ball. Uh, and at the end of this turn on turn seven, had Jim, uh, had, when Jim just stands here and uh, takes the block. Had he dodged away, it'd be five men. So, you know, the Blitz on the uh, Troll Slayer, everyone runs around. And uh, yeah, extra man. Extra man attacking the ball. Extra man to tie up. Extra man that's free to then clear away the Ball Carrier next turn. I think it was good to leave him in base contact as much as this block is probably going to be a Kaz. It's not a Kaz! Ties up two men! Oh, unbelievable, Jeff! What a great call from Jeff. With the double skull uh, as the first action, pretty unlucky for, well, no, yeah, statistically not improbable, but the not stand firm there was brilliant as well. It means that if this block's a push, he's, <laughs> he's really fucked. I hope I have enunciated somewhat coherently the glory. Oh, he's done it. Absolute legend, this long bid. It's an hour four plus three plus to not even, it's not even anything. It's a single Chaos Warrior is just going through it now. Oh, and I guess he's still got the Blitz. So I guess the Blitz on the, uh, the long bid who stands firm. Oh, hero long bid. That's the price paid. Look, he did an amazing job, but we all knew that was going to happen. And without the ability to pile on, he have to dodge away now without a reroll, or he potentially gets served. And I think you have to dodge away to have another man downfield, or you've only got one scoring threat. He's only got one scoring threat. So what, potato with the ball now? And then what, stand on the sideline? And hope the runner, the runner of doom doesn't get you? Yikes.
yeah, baby snot, he did his job. You can make some like masterful cinematic showing someone getting punched in the face repeatedly and like saving a bunch of school children getting hit, you know, in a school bus, falling off a cliff. That's what he did, but then he died doing it. I think Poopbox realized his dilemma. He's really just got the one play. It is almost exactly that. All right, I'm not going to say anything for the next 45 seconds, but there are considerations to make midfields. Yikes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's a... Uh, I'll, I'll look, I won't say anything because I think he's thing and uh, that'll just distract him. Yeah, I think he's seen it immediately as his first box to free this runner. Freeing the runner is the play to get the chain. Assuming there's not a guard, Chaos Warrior. Brutal. Uh, let's see, second Kaz uh, on the Chaos. Only has two in reserve, so he's still good for the second half and not Apoing this. Apo needs to be used uh, if he doesn't score, you know, to not... Yeah, rephrase. In the second half, he'll want to use that Apo on the KO oh, to ensure God. that he turns Jim over somehow. So, oh. runner comes around behind. This, no, it is a guard cast, all right, so it's a 1D, but that doesn't matter because number 9 long bid comes across. Is good. So that chains the warrior right. into the slam. That doesn't really do anything. Works. Hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, is that it? Is it the... What the fuck? That isn't what I pressed. Oh my god. Oh, this fucking game. <laughs> I thought you saw something that I didn't. I think that's, a, that's an odd push from Jim. He must uh, He must have a different play in mind. No, no, I meant to push him. And then, oh fuck. At least I can hit him out of the way so I can go for the uphill. <laughs> the uphill block. I mean, just... You could hit the warrior and push, uh... Oh, look. <laughs> I'll not distract you, you got a minute and a half. For fuck's sake. Yikes. Yikes. Fuck's sake, I forgot I had Dauntless as well. I could have, I should have. Oh, they just fucking ruined by Cyanide. Fuck's sake. That's so much fucking bullshit. I just don't even get. I don't even get what happened there. I guess I should have blocked that guy, this guy. In. I, was, I should have based him. Based that warrior, I should have moved him in there and blocked him. And then there's the guard. Then I could have done one dice, couldn't I? If I'd done that. Then the second one would have been an uphill. But, um... Wow. Wow. Ripper run. Bad, He's got to make two GFIs. He could fail, I guess. <laughs> Shit. These greedy box with uh, cheer fires on the cards. Absolute madman. Deserves to lose for this.
Oh man, he can't, he can't, he can't read that. <laughs> pushed him from the wrong direction as well, didn't he? Uh, could you push him from the right direction? Probably not. Come on, fail one of these. You can do it. Ah, oh, boo. Yikes. Oh, man, that was annoying. Greed is good. Greed is right. Uh, Jim did the classic Jim thing of uh, click on the wrong square, or perhaps clicking too quickly. And the camera moves at the last second. And so where he thinks he's clicking, he's actually looking somewhere else. Yeah, it feels real bad. It's back to a game. So yeah, look, it was just a single push on the uh, on the carrier to have it not be able to double GFI to score. I'm going to go back and uh, try and work out what Jim was going to do. At 3am it's uh, hard for my I was just trying to do some hits and, and fucking get closer. I was still I still basically intended to do a one dice into an uphill and then go and hit the ball. So it's probably, I probably fucked up anyway. Oh yeah, I could have chained the other guy. Oh yeah, I could have chained my other guy. I was trying to chain his, but I chained mine. I've really fucked it up. But I was trying. I was trying to do the wrong thing. Anyway, I could go for a fucking score here, couldn't I? Movement seven, edge four, dodge. Like I really could Ooh. go for it, and he set up do terribly. It. But it means less mighty blow hits, and I just think mighty blow hits are going to be more useful for winning the game. He has lost his bench now, so it's not a bad rationale. Yeah. Team positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? Yeah, so I'm, I'm just looking at it again. Uh, if on, on that chain where the runner was there, it was, uh, yeah, you could have pushed your own guy out, but similarly, you could have pushed his Chaos Warrior out. And on the follow, that would give uh, one of your guard long beards uh, 2D on a beastman, which would give, uh, no, sorry, the, the block clears a guy out, which would give a 1D on the beastman, 1D for a push, cancels the assists and provides an assist for the troll slayer. We should let your other guard long bid come along and give the two die on the five strength Chaos Warrior on, on the Dauntless 2 plus, which would then give the runner the 2D surf. I'll draw a little picture and then give it to chat. Love me some pictures. part of team positive then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better okay? this doesn't even look like anything now that i now that i look at it this doesn't look like anything yikes yeah i think i i think i had to push my player diagonally out i don't know that's that's one thing to look after the game that turn because it was there was 
I'm sure there was something better than obviously what I did. What I did isn't even what I intended to do. But what I intended to do, I'm not sure was was right anyway. So. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. Yeah, look, I pasted the semblance of a 1D for a push as the and then the Dauntless as the risk to then blitz the carrier for a 2D uh, to serve him. 1D push is a little bit risky, though. All right, so start of the second half, Jim and his infinite wisdom going for the Kaz, actually got the Kaz. Unbelievable. Chaos down to nine. Dream scenario for the Dwarf offense to some extent. Although the dream scenario will be playing Amazons. And I guess the advantage is he can risk these pylons without any real fear of consequence, because uh, Vals would be just madness when you've got nine men. Yeah, look, um, Pooh Box still got the Apo, so uh, he'll Apo the first KO for sure. That's a bit awkward with the uh, Troll Slayer Frenzy. Oh, and a stun! It's a good little bit of space. Seeing some safe moves. Maybe uh, Unskilled Runner could be marking the ball. Pile on for Nort. Bit of protection just in case. Although I can't imagine a foul coming down. That would just be insane. Unless someone gets pushed to the extreme, where they're just like, well, I'm feeling real bad. I'm just going to try and try and dance my way back to the game. Ball in hand. Unbelievable, Jeff. Nice little dwarf screen. Flawless. Flawless opening turn. Yeah, it's back to a uh, back to an even game. One blitz. One removal. Uh, even on the fields? 
even game on the field, like even in terms of numbers? Well, Steez, uh, good old Jim, used his wizard, got a turnover, and scored. And then he did a dumb thing, and then the Chaos scored. And now this is the start of the second half. <laughs> Hmm. Fair enough. Well, is it though? Is it just screen and dwarves? Hmm. I mean, he made a hole down the left side, and I think if he was going to pressure the ball, he'd have sent someone down to go and pressure the ball, forced him to make a cage, uh, forced him to commit five men to protecting the ball. Chose not to. I mean, I can understand not wanting to run people down, because that's just a free blitz for the Troll Slayer, but the Troll Slayer's getting that blitz anyway. I don't know, I think if that if it was me, and I got that blitz, and the blitz got a removal, I think just mans. You, you want that turnover, you outstrength them, any base contact is getting you a Kaz, and... Got the Apo advantage for any KOs that, that happen to come, happen to happen. Especially the AV9 guys, you can single man mark or my oh, you can literally, literally single man mark and uh, and deny blocks. But if it's not an aggressive start, hmm, hmm, maybe he's just happy to grind for a little bit, doesn't want to take any sort of risk in that regard, and just 2D blitz, leave no base contact and exchange like that, knowing that with your claw mighty blow pylon, uh, you'll come out ahead. Great play from Jim, making the Blitz, uh, expecting a push, giving himself the follow-up block. And in fact, the follow-up block is a uh, pylon if he wants. Now, the risk in the Dauntless, uh, sorry, the risk in the jump up is that it's a dice roll. Whereas, yeah, whereas Heavy just makes the block the troll say and then just move somewhere useful. But you don't turn down, you don't turn down a pylon on an AV8 on Skull Beastman. So that seems fair enough. Well, no, no, I'm saying if that, you're nine men on the field. So Chaos Excel when there are fewer men on the field because your four strength blitzes uh, are really hard for teams to stop. The fewer, the, the less, the fewer, fewer men on the field, the harder it is to properly protect the width of the field and you'll always have a exposed flank. And so in a 9v9 situation, I'd much rather Chaos. Um, whereas if it was 11v11, uh, you'd probably still fight with the Chaos over Dwarves, but the Dwarves are doing a lot better. More men, more protection, more positioning. Fewer men, it's all about just right-clicking with your beastman. Is that the uh, third double skull? You know, if he hadn't had uh, such great success with the removals, uh, I'd almost feel sorry. This is Live Johnny Five. Yeah, so look, with the uh, now man up, maybe we'll start to see the base contact. Classic try, always wrong. Classic. Yep, so look, yeah, this is what I was talking about last time before try said something dumb and wrong. Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> Jim won't be able to protect this ball, and it'll be super potato. There'll be four strength blitz from the left, and a, you know, dodge... Potentially nine squares of movement from the uh, the ball carrying beastman to just get him from anywhere. Nowhere safe. No great blocks. Uh, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but both blitzes from Poopok, Popok, Poopok, like poo, not not poo, like when and did a poo. Who was in the letter P U, or maybe pop? Okay, 
Uh, I don't know if it was intentional or not. Probably, you'd hope so. Uh, but actually targeted Jim's blitzes. So the sneaky passing play that we saw in the first half, now not an option, as there's only long beards and troll slayers left, and the two runners are adjacent to each other, so no, no real passing happening there. Uh, there's an option for... Like, potato through the unskilled beastman. Everything on the right is uh, disastrous. So what, Troll Slayer Blitz? I uh, hope you get the first one. Then what, 1D the uh, leftmost warrior? Yikes. I guess the, the unskilled runner could assist on the POM... Uh, sorry, on the uh, downfield threatening beastman. Yikes! And then he could rotate to the left. This is a tough pile on. I can't imagine so. Classic try. <laughs> VM try. Oh, buddy. Yikes. Sideline cage. Oh, and a boot. No way. Oh, I don't do look. Oh, I'm punished. Potato is on, for sure. Mm. See, remember in the first half where I was like, oh, Poopock's getting really lucky with his uh, dodge and it might be worth just leaving him. In this instance, uh, like, for Poopock, that's the case. Uh, but for Jim, he's probably better off dodging him because the Claw Mighty Blow is just infinitely worse. Um, pay the ultimate price anyway. Yikes. Nah, Ducky, it wasn't about Yikes. just soaking the hit. It's, it was because I was stopping this happening. You're stopping him getting the blitz and then the warrior out as well, wasn't it? It wasn't. It wasn't just running away for no reason. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. He can't roll this, this would be madness. She did! Unbelievable! Down to one reroll in the overtime. On a final action GFI! Yikes. I mean, it does put good pressure on, but that is absolute madness. Yeah, so, uh, Sad Times in Gym Town. Tells over the extra rolls in overtime, uh, so the OSKOs could come back. Not scoring wouldn't be the end of the world if he's, uh, conservative with his zero rolls. Poobok certainly isn't. So maybe just, uh, not conceding <laughs> the touchdown and just having, having overtime happen. Assuming there's no more, well, not, not no more, but 
the current CAS rate does not continue at its current rate. So options to uh, blitz down the claw mighty blowguy on the south and uh, just recenter. But then I say block without block. Then you have to reroll, and that's probably too high of a price to pay. I, th I think I've got no time Sam. to go so overtime flash. I just lost too many you players. Yeah, I reckon I've got no time. Yeah. Of... <laughs> but yeah. Even if I score here, what do I fucking do, you know? Like, how do I even stop him scoring? So, it's rough. I need to power this guy, and then GFI a few times, and dodge, and then sideline screen, and hope it works. And even then, he's got a 5 plus to fucking one die surf me in, hasn't he? It's rough, man. Yikes. I just don't... Yeah. You know, blitz him back here and then run back. All right, good. But then what? What happens? Just get more guys killed. It's yeah, crazy. that's that. Well, instead of getting more guys killed, take the blocks and just don't die. Yeah, that would be good. That would be a good idea. Yeah, if, it was yeah, a good re absolutely. GFI. It was good reroll. I thought because if he hadn't rerolled that, it's easy for me to blitz with a ball carrier and then you know get some cover for him. Well, easy, a lot easier. Yeah, there's still there's still no cover though. Like he's still getting. Yeah, true. Getting the block. Yeah. So that's why I think it didn't really matter. All it does is just deny this troll slayer block. Mm. So yeah, look, it's a retreat or potato. Let's go full potato. Oh boy. 23 seconds left. <laughs> oh, fine. Got a stun. Made the GFI. Haha, <laughs> made the dodge. Unbelievable, Jeff! Wow. Shit, he's not stand firm. <laughs> he's not stand firm. <laughs> Get stunned because you're not stand firm, dickhead. <laughs> oh, Bang, shit. I mean, he's still going to fucking wall me off here. Yeah. But if he doesn't, at least I can roll some dice. <sighs> God, that was... You're actually full. It's arguably an easy touchdown when you think about it. Yeah. Like, it'll, it'll just be like four and five pluses. Like, worst case scenario. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. That's yeah. the best I can get is some four, four and five pluses, I think. And then maybe he uses a reroll this turn. Um, yeah, maybe. And then if he's got four turns, he might not score. No, oh. I wish I'd pressed what I wanted when I was trying to stop him scoring. Because even if I'd made the wrong decision, at least I would. Exactly. Uh, at you'd least be wild right now, and you'd be laughing. <laughs> but that that did not go where I wanted it to go. Whether it was my fault or Cyanide's fault. Did you see my cute little picture? I'm clicking on it now. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I intended. Yeah, yeah. Ch chain away the uh, chain away the the guard. And if I, yeah. if I yeah, then I, then it was a one dice, and then I've got a guard in there, which would make it two dice. But then it would be the second one would be uphill, which would be the bad thing. But then I'd surface runner, wouldn't I? Which would be outstanding. The problem was it being oh, was, in, instead of the up die, I think the uh, the troll slayer hits the warrior. Oh yeah, the second one, yeah. Gotcha, yeah, the, gotcha. yeah, the follow up. It was, it was in a friend's oh, but I mean, obviously in an ideal world, you would have just powered him on the one dice. Uh, it would have been yeah. two dice, wouldn't it, if, I, if I'd made the yeah. gauntlet. Yeah, the runner across. Could have powered him and then yeah. just surfed the ball off that guy. Yeah, so I, I had the right plan. It just, the dice went wrong. Which fucking sucks, doesn't it? Well, the dice went wrong, the, the game went wrong, or whatever. It, it, whether it was my mm. fault or the game's fault, whatever it was. Oh man, this could even be easy. Red for a push, 2D for a push, touchdown. Hmm. 
<laughs> I like how he, he's thinking about what he's going to do to stop the score, and he's like, fuck it, just make an irrelevant block instead. <laughs> Don't know what I'd do, I'd just block people. <laughs> Typical Cole player. <laughs> well, it might be something really rowdy with this warrior. It might be like a six plus in stand adjacent to the ball carrier. <laughs> Maybe. You've given him ideas now, Fash. <laughs> Hey, can't we roll that? Right, so it's just a two dice, isn't it? Fucking hell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. Yeah, alright, then let's go. What if I get a push? One, two. Makes it a lot harder to get a push, doesn't it? One, two. Yeah, that's a good spot to fail, to be fair. Let's just get a pal. Unbelievable. Yes. <laughs> right. So if these KOs come back, I've got a babe as well. I've got a babe. Telling me there's a chance. <laughs> Five Is that a hot chick? One came back. Okay, shit. Alright, so seven guys. He's got nine. Hmm. Rough, isn't it? Glorious. Glorious. <laughs> Thanks, Mario <Dan. laughs> Thanks for the bits. Yeah, this is rough. Just uh don't don't lose a man every time and be right. <laughs> Easy to say to the four claw hits I'm taking this time. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? I like this wider setup. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you could have done that earlier. Just to stop uh, the follow-ups happening mm -hmm. so frequently. Maybe. Hello. Oh, no. oh, God. Yikes. Um, Jim's Mighty Blow Stand Firm Guard Man. It was just a movement loss. Number 11 was just a badly hurt. The second long beard. The runners a miss next game. Whereas uh, Poopox was much, much worse in terms of permanence. Yikes. What do we just say about not losing a man every turn? That was the one thing he wasn't supposed to do. Huge you misplay from the from Jim there. Then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? Yeah, that's a good point from Thor. In a semi-final, a missing X game is dead. That's for sure. In fact, any injury is when you really think about it. Like, yeah, actual injury. Yikes. Hmm.
This will be tough. Score threats from everywhere. Still one reroll in hand, so like a three plus handoff or even a three plus two plus. With the uh, edgy four beastman doing a short throw, not out of the picture. Covering every beastman is going to be impossible. And uh, OP runner would have to block for a power. Spooky times. But then again, you got the luxury of being, uh, Jim's got the luxury of being one up, so he can take a uh, a poor dice result. Whereas Poopock uh, has to has to succeed everything, and that's just to go into overtime. Rip. Whoa! We rolled it! Oh man, Jim going for the normal timer win. Unbelievable. And this is tough. I wonder if this gets out, but it's only three turns. Yeah, I think I think I've got literally no chance in overtime. So literally not. Fair enough. <laughs> well let's say that's a good rationale for using that reroll then. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise it was insanity. Yep. Loves that runner. Absolutely loves that runner. Clench. Phew. Mm. Rip. Well, that was that was the thing, wasn't it? I was exposing him. Maybe I shouldn't have exposed him and just done a one dice. I just needed to get him away. Because with him, I could do a dodge and make a one dice, a two dice. I couldn't have me the power. Yeah. Without him, I've got nothing. Four plus three plus one D. That could be a saving grace. It could, couldn't it? Yeah, I know. Oh my god, it's happening. Classic. It was pretty close anyway, wasn't it? It was real close. Yeah, on a uh, power stumble, it's uh, the game, really. Oh, well. Just need to roll another another double score. He's got a reroll. Did he get an extra one from a kickoff event? No, it was kick quicks no. now. I just thought he had none. I thought he was out of rerolls. Uh, no, no, he just went to one when he did that reroll on the uh, on the warrior, and he could have been at zero had he done the other reroll. But yeah, no. Well, uh, he did get the reroll. Oh shit! Right. Oh, well, another cat. That's a surprise. <laughs> Amazingly not going to win the game in which I take seven cars. Teddy Dingo. Yeah. 
<laughs> GF5. <sighs> <laughs> Good old J5. Oh, I'm pissed off about that chain though. If, I, if that chain thing had gone right, whether it was my clicking or Cyanide's fucking game. It was your clicking. Was it? It's definitely your clicking. It's always your clicking. I've <laughs> seen you click. <laughs> I've clicked wrongly before, but it has been Cyanide's game before. Like, literally, if you click too fast, it goes to the wrong square. How fucked up is that? If you've out tabbed out, you go to the wrong square. You go to the square that they've chosen for you. Like, there's some f fucked up things with cyanide. Could well have been a misclick. You know, it could have been. <laughs> but like, if if the game was better, you'd know it was a misclick. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? The, the fact is, with cyanide, it could have just been. I understand you don't play this very often. The nuances of the user interface are well beyond your reach. <laughs> yeah. At least you can't push me away. Yeah, I think that GFR was good. What? Why, why didn't he just hit me? What? <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> I mean, without yeah, being horrible the... to him. What an absolute fucking yeah. idiot. Yeah, that was not the one. So staying where he was had the 1D uh, blitz into base the ball. That just gets cleared. Yeah. Yep. Not if you're making the GFI, he has then the 2D block, and if it's a push, yeah, it's the, uh, the same sort of state, except it's, the, uh, it's a red duck declare. That was definitely not the one. Whatever he was trying to do was not the one. Alright, we've got overtime. <laughs> <laughs> Dead and injured eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Well played, man with claw. <laughs> Steven score. Pretty easy. Yeah, so the winner of the uh, other other semi likely wins. <laughs> yeah. Although Mubok in his defense has protected his uh, Pommers, so he can just do what he did here next match and be in for a shot. Yeah, yeah, he's got he's got a chance just by rolling dice. Every everyone does with claw palm, claw palm, don't they? Roll some dice and win is is essentially what it boils down to. Whether you think that's a good idea or not is. Uh... This situation. That was a horrible, horrible play though, wasn't it? <laughs> Either just end the turn, so I'd have to do a 4 plus 3 plus. Or go for the chance of knocking me down. I mean, you got to go for the chance of knocking me down, I think. Obviously, you couldn't push because of stand firm, but... Wow. It was fucking crazy. Crazy of dodge instead of block, wasn't it? Yeah. I thought the extra GFI was to deny the yeah the the one die blitz to then base, you know, basing with stent. It was not too shabby. Seventeen percent to lose the game if he dodges. What do I even do here? That's fucking stupid, isn't it? <laughs> Potato it down. Blitzer. Rack the ball every time. <laughs> I can't even minimise getting hit by Claw. He's got Claw everywhere. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, exactly as Tri said. He could have just made that one GFI and then it makes the 4 plus 3 plus dodge. Or he make, if, you make, if you make the second GFI, you make the two dice block, don't you? Not a fucking dodge. Crazy. Yes, Stotty, 100 euros for getting third, third or fourth. So, you know, I'm still happy. It's just, uh, it was just <laughs> sad to take seven cars, wasn't it? <laughs> 
Fucking hell. I mean, to get into a good spot, you know, I'd got into a... I'd got into a good spot. That was the thing. Oh, wow, look at that. Whoa. I'd got into a pretty good spot. Um... With... Ah, it's a tackle Chelsea, eh? It is, yeah. <laughs> I could have made this with... No, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. Double GFI, they have one dice in. Or I could just go here and then GFI hit him. No, I've, got, I've got to do that one. Yeah, boy. No, no, I can't. Dodge. Dodge double GFI to hit him? No, I don't think so. No. Just hit him. Yikes. <laughs> I mean, he paid the price as well. I mean, I got, I got lucky. Oh, because I'm tied. I got lucky to make four. Because I'm tied. Because I'm tied. I got lucky to make four cards anyway, so. Just wasn't enough. <laughs> It's unfortunately taking taking seven is worse. Can you armor? Maybe I could have taken care of my rerolls more in the second half, but I, I don't know, I just felt like I had to be a bit larry and <laughs> oh dear. Eight cars. Nine cars, isn't it, actually? Nine cars. Because the apple worked. So nine cars taken. Reminds me of this one time I played against uh, Shawnee with my one remaining uh, Palm Beastman. I did three cars and he did 22 GFIs without failing. <laughs> And he was so pleased he won. <laughs> there's a chance, isn't there? Yeah, there's a chance. You're telling me there's a chance. I don't think there's any other way. Troll Slayer. Oh, yeah, you know Slayer. what you can do. Oh, thanks for getting tips from Fash. Tips from Fash. <laughs> what was your idea? This That's nothing else. This is 4-4-3. Four, four, no four 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 two two. Now this one's better, isn't it? Five four, and then two two. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it was a good team. It was a good run. I mean, semis is, is to be honest, better than I thought was going to happen from this team. You have got to avoid the sea of claw palm, and I did until I got to the semis, and then that was it. Swiftly, swiftly. And look, if I'd just played a little bit better, if or, or cyanide's game worked better, whichever one it was, it's just literally the mechanics of clicking the right square. We know which one it was. <laughs> Is what I failed at. I had the right idea. It's really annoying not to, to lose because of it, isn't it? If I'd stopped him scoring, then I would have won, wouldn't I? Would have been one nil up, would have gone two nil up, and would have won. So. Yeah. Yeah, I am disappointed to not win, but. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Woodies, the Woodies were the, were the primer. Woodies would have, would have, uh, would have had a chance with three players on the pitch. Fair enough. see the replay and see if I just click. Oh, I kind of got to look at the VOD, haven't I? And see if I just clicked the wrong square or not. What are you still playing on PC? Why don't you just uh, get free wins on Xbox? I should do, shouldn't Basically, I? I've got yeah, Xbox and PS4. I should play on both. Like, the, like memes aside, you know that you know there were some Xbox <laughs> yeah. and uh, PS4. Like, there's no doubt about it. That is absolutely true. It is, it is gimping yourself if you're trying to win the money. It's stupid, isn't it, to play on PC? Yeah. <laughs> twice as many AV breaks. Uh, twice as many cars. <laughs> Fair enough. 
nearly twice as many blocks to be fair, he made a lot more blocks. So and he had claw bomb, so yeah, it was a good run, wasn't it? Fair enough. Just uh just the dwarves came up short at the end. <laughs> Back down to 1280. It was a tough game to be down 300 TV. I mean, if, if I'd had 300 TV more of real TV, I think it would have been a lot more of a game. But, I mean, my team would have been outclassed against any team, like, wouldn't it? If it had just been other dwarves or orcs or whatever, it would have been. It would have been a horrible matchup. Whatever it was. I don't know why I'm rolling. It doesn't matter what that is. Anyway, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay Stay fantastic. fantastic. <laughs> Thanks, Flash. Ha, ha, ha.